Man, writes Lauren Isley, is the cosmic orphan. He's the only creature in the universe who asks why. Other animals have instincts to guide them, but man has learned to ask questions. Who am I? He asks. Why am I here? Where am I going? Well, ever since the Enlightenment, when modern man threw off the shackles of religion, he's tried to answer those questions without reference to God. But the answers that came back were not exhilarating, but dark and terrible. You are the accidental byproduct of nature, a result of matter plus time plus chance. There is no reason for your existence. All you face is death. There are people who say, this makes me feel small because I need to see the immensity of the cosmos. And I say, no, you're, you're not thinking about it the right way. You know, by the way, when we opened our facility, I got a letter from a psychologist from the University of Pennsylvania. He had seen our show, which was a zoom out from Earth, and Earth just shrinks to nothingness as you go to the edge of the universe. And he wrote me a letter that says, I'm a, I specialize in the psychological effects of things that make people feel insignificant. And he said, and he said, needless to say, your show was the greatest eliciter of feelings of smallness I have ever seen. Will you allow me to conduct a survey on the people who visit your show? And I thought to myself, there's something wrong here, because why does he feel small? But when I look up in the universe, I feel large. Then I realized the problem was his ego was too large to begin with. He came to the problem thinking too highly of who and what he was to begin with. Because then everything that happened in the show destabilized his self-image. Whereas I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos. And that, and it's our 15 pounds of gray matter that figured this out. There's a kinship with the cosmos that resonates deeply with new age thinking, but I'm not apologetic about that. It's what we find. If whatever we find is resonates with whoever, go ahead, take it. 